Apple has just rolled out iPadOS 26.2 Beta 3, and today we're taking a look at what's changed, what's working better, and where the experience still feels rough around the edges. This build arrived alongside updates for iOS, watchOS, and macOS, so Apple is once again releasing a full wave of system updates at the same time. The update on an M3 iPad Air was about 8 gigabytes, so it's best to have at least 15 to 16 gigabytes of free storage to allow the system to unpack temporary files and install everything correctly. Beta 3 is available for every device that supports iPad OS 26, from the basic iPad models all the way up to the Pro lineup, including the latest M series versions. Alongside iPad OS 26.2 Beta 3, Apple also released iOS 26.2 Beta 3, watchOS 11.2 Beta 3, macOS 26.2 Beta 3, and tvOS 18.2 Beta 3. This is a coordinated update cycle focused on polishing all platforms before the release candidate stage. The new build carries the number 23C5044B, which puts us very close to the final stretch. From here, we should see the A build, then the RC version, and finally the public release. As for the modem firmware, it rarely changes on the iPad, and Beta 3 doesn't include any updates for it. The modem was updated on the iPhone side, but on iPad OS, the component remains unchanged. Split View is making a quiet return in a refreshed form. Apple continues to refine the new windowing system, and in Beta 3, you can once again drag an app toward the edge of the screen and have it snap into place as a separate panel. It only works inside the new windowed mode, but the behavior now feels much more natural. This brings back a level of multitasking that many users missed over the past few releases. Slide over has also been improved. Floating windows stay on top of everything, hide easily off to the side, and resize without any friction. The important part is that they no longer disappear when you switch between apps, which finally makes slide over feel reliable instead of temporary. For anyone juggling multiple apps at once, this adjustment noticeably improves the overall workflow. There's a new option in AirDrop called Manage Known AirDrop Contacts. When you share a one-time code with someone, your device remembers that connection for 30 days and allows quick transfers without repeated prompts. It reduces a lot of the friction when sharing files with the same people regularly. This should help in situations where AirDrop is used for work or collaborative tasks. The Games app received another round of refinements. Controller navigation feels steadier, challenges and achievements load faster, and filters for platforms and activity respond with less delay. These changes make browsing your library and tracking your progress feel smoother and more modern. It adds a noticeable layer of polish to the gaming experience on iPad. Control Center has been polished as well. Animations look smoother, menus feel slightly more layered, and a long press on certain toggles now triggers a softer, more fluid pop-up animation. The visual feedback feels cleaner and more intentional than before. It makes the interface feel more cohesive and pleasant to use. The liquid glass transparency slider is still here. Nothing new functionally, but it behaves more consistently in Beta 3 and doesn't glitch as easily during quick swipes across the interface. The overall look of the system feels slightly more stable when using heavy transparency settings. It helps the UI feel more refined. Beta 3 is a typical stabilization build. Several issues have been addressed. Control Center no longer stutters when opening, Slide Over no longer pauses unexpectedly, and the small animation jumps that appeared when moving windows have been smoothed out. A few quirks remain. The new bounce effect can occasionally look like a glitch, and with heavy liquid glass usage, the interface may flicker briefly. Performance is one of the strongest aspects of Beta 3. Apps open without hesitation. Safari stays stable even with multiple windows, and the new windowing system responds faster than it did in Beta 1 and Beta 2. Scrolling, gestures, and animations all feel balanced and consistent, making this the smoothest build in the 26.2 cycle so far. Heat levels stay very low during everyday use. Even when running the new split view setup, the iPad maintains a steady temperature. Noticeable warmth appears only during heavier tasks like pro-level apps or extended gaming sessions in Apple Arcade. Battery life remains solid. With moderate usage, screen on time lands around six to eight hours. 
Under heavier workloads, it drops to about four to five hours, while light use, like browsing or watching videos, can push past eight hours. Battery health reports normal values, with no sudden changes after installing Beta 3. Storage behavior is also predictable. After installing Beta 3, the system clears temporary files on its own, so most of the space is reclaimed. The update required around 8 gigabytes initially, but nearly all of it returned after a reboot. Performance on the M3 remains stable. Single-core scores fall within the expected range for Beta 3, multi-core results show no drops, and GPU workloads stay consistent. The minimal variation between runs indicates solid optimization. Overall, the device delivers predictable performance across all tested scenarios. In terms of security, Beta 3 includes fixes for several WebKit vulnerabilities, improvements in image processing, and updates to internal graphics components. There are no kernel-level patches in this build, but overall system security has still been strengthened. These behind-the-scenes adjustments help maintain reliability without introducing new instability. iPad OS 26.2 Beta 3 is an update focused on stability, refinement of the windowing system, and polishing the interface. New features are limited, but the important ones stand out. The redesigned split view, the improved slide over, and the new airdrop contact mechanism. With the current pace, the release candidate version is not far away. This build feels like the final stretch before the public release.